and welcome back to my channel. So I am super excited for today's video. This is one I've wanted to do for a very, very long time. So today we are going to make a homemade DIY dupe of the very expensive Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops. So I feel like these are pretty popular for a very good reason. They just give you such a beautiful, dewy, wet, glowy look. But it can be duped. Everything can be duped one way or another. But today's DIY recipe is going to be using some products that you probably already have in your collection. So let's go over the materials that you need. You really don't need a whole lot. And again, this is probably stuff that you already have. So the first thing I recommend is a makeup spatula, something to kind of dip the product out and mix it and stuff. You can find stuff like this at Walmart. You can use a spoon. You can use a knife. You'll need some kind of pigment, whether it be a pressed eyeshadow or a loose pigment. I prefer a loose pigment because it kind of it's already like finely milled for you, but you can also use something that's pressed and just kind of like scrape it out. And then some kind of oil. You can use any kind of beauty oil for your face. I recommend using something that's made for your face. I've seen people use like hair oils. Don't do that. Now, obviously this isn't going to be a formula dupe. There are a lot of chemical ingredients in the cover effects drops, but I do have a shade dupe for the shade Moonlight, which I will swatch out in just a second. But first let's briefly go over my thoughts on the cover effects drops because I haven't really talked about these a whole lot on my channel. So I really do like these again. Like I said, it's a very, very beautiful finish. It's like a chrome finish. They're very glowy, very dewy. But personally, I do not gravitate towards liquid highlighters. I know that this is very universal as far as like the purposes. You can mix this in with foundations, primers, moisturizers. You can wear this as a liquid highlighter on top of everything. Like there's so many things you can do with this, but I basically just use it as a facial highlighter on top of foundation and stuff. And usually I end up going in with a powder highlight on top anyway, just to set it. Like the rim of this gets very powdery and flaky. It's like the product dries up and becomes like powder. But I've had a lot of people tell me that theirs has dried up and like kind of evaporated and they can't even use it anymore. And that's probably because it has alcohol in it. I don't really know what the concentration of alcohol in here is, but this is $42. So you really don't want to spend that kind of money for it to dry up or evaporate. Like that's kind of weird that it does that. But even though this is a very, very beautiful product, it's very unique. I just don't use liquid highlighters. I don't even use cream highlighters. Like I'm a powder highlight person. I will say though, even though this is $42, it's pretty expensive. I don't really feel like I would ever use this up. So I'm going to show you a few options that you can use for pigments. So the first couple of pigments I have actually I have three. These are from J Cat Beauty. These are called the Shine Your Day Shimmering Powders. These are only like $3. There's a ton of product in here. They do have a pretty decent shade selection. They do sell this at Ulta online. You can only find this online. So the first shade I have is called Lavender Blush. This is more of an icy pink highlighter. It's very, very pretty. It has more of like a blue purple undertone too, like a blue purple iridescence. This will definitely be better for people with more fair skin or more cool tones. Another shade I got is more for deeper skin tones. This is called bronze. It has a little bit more of like a coppery undertone. It's a little bit more warm. And the last shade I have, I actually had to depot because I think the patching broke or something. I'm not really sure what happened. This one's called vanilla. This is just your basic like universal neutral beigey champagne. I think this would work on a lot of different skin tones and this one is by far my favorite. So I will say the one thing I don't like about these J Cat Beauty pigments and pigments in general mostly is that the packaging sucks. It just has this little like I don't know, this little opening and it's just really messy. Sometimes I just like to pour it on the back of my hand. Sometimes I just pour it on my desk. And the thing is with these pigments where there's so much product and they're so heavily pigmented like these are very very opaque. I feel like you would never use these up. So here are all the swatches. As you can see, they're very metallic, very high shine, reflective. They're very finely milled. You can also wear these as powder highlights. Like they're very, very intense. We can make a drinking game out of saying very. So here's bronze. As you can see, it's really warm and coppery. There is vanilla and there is lavender blush. And I also have one from this brand called Bella Pierre Cosmetics. I believe you can find this on Amazon for sure. I believe this was sent to me a long time ago in an Ipsy bag, but this is in the shade Excite. So as you can see, it is I see why, but it's very intense. It's very pigmented and high shine. I do have one from NYX, but it's a lot more like sparkly and glittery. And I don't know if I would actually like to use this on my face. Like it's very, very pretty on the eyes. It's like a white gold with a lot of glitter. I haven't tried this for my little concoction yet, but look how pretty that is. Like that's super intense. So that's another option that's in the shade Vegas Baby. Now, just to show you a couple of pressed options, you can use any pressed eyeshadow that you want. I know there's a lot of pretty shades in like Morphe palettes, or if there's one that you like, in any palette, you could just scrape it out with your spatula. But the L'Oreal Infallible pressed eyeshadows, these would be awesome because these are basically pressed pigments. And the shade Ice Latte, which everyone calls a dupe for Stila's Kitten, this is such a pretty shade. So this would definitely be one that's gonna be better for, I guess, lighter skin tones. But all you gotta do is just like scrape this out with your spatula. It comes out really easily. That would be gorgeous. 
And then another shade that you might like if you have a deeper skin tone is Amber Rush from the Infallible line. This is more of like a rose gold coppery color. So there's Amber Rush. This is a cult favorite for a very good reason. I love this for the eyes, but as a highlighter, if you like warm highlighters and you have a deeper skin tone, girl, check it out. So for the oil that I'm using, again, it doesn't really matter. Um, I would probably recommend something like jojoba oil because jojoba oil is supposed to be better for all skin types. It's not gonna be like comedogenic where it's gonna break you out. But really the only oil I have on me that works well enough for this is this Olay Regenerous Luminous Facial Oil Daily Treatment. This is very expensive in the stores, but I find this on eBay for like seven, 12, 13 dollars, something like that. I know that's a, a big gap. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and swatch out the shade that I have called Moonlight. This is basically a bronzy champagne with a hint of pink, but there's what it looks like. I feel like this is very universal. I think this would work for a lot of different skin tones. And as you can see, like look at that, it looks like a mirror. So basically what you're gonna do is just scrape out a little bit of product and you're just gonna mix a couple of drops of oil with the powder. Now with this one, I do find that two drops is perfectly fine, but I do like to use a bit more powder than oil. I just find that using more powder kind of gives you more product to work with. So I'm going to start out with my favorite one, which is vanilla from JCAT Beauty. Again, I put it in this little like trial size moisturizer jar. I'm just going to dip a little bit out. There's what I'm dipping out so far. Hopefully you guys can see that. You may have to add more pigment. You may have to add more oil. Like just play around with it. It's okay to experiment, but I'm going to start out with two and I will have to use more pigment to make it a little bit more product. So as you can see, that just wasn't enough product for me. So I'm gonna dip out a little bit more pigment. So there's what it looks like with just vanilla on the back of my hand with the oil. As you can see, they both have a very, very similar finish. The cover effects one's a little bit more chrome-like. It's a little bit more intense, but I mean, on the face, it doesn't look exactly like that. So to get a more similar color to the Moonlight shade, I'm gonna go in with Lavender Blush from J Cat Beauty, which is that more pink shade. And I'm just gonna get a little bit of product out with my spatula and mix it right in there and mix it on up. So I don't really know how it's translating on camera, but in person, these look like the exact same tone, the exact same shade. Now this is the only shade I have in the Cover Effects drop, so I can't really give you an in-person dupe of the other shades. What I'm doing is pulling up swatches of the Cover Effects drops, and I'm gonna see if I can get as close as I can to a couple of the other shades. So now I'm gonna mix up the bronze shade. So I'm gonna do the exact same thing. So there's what bronze looks like. So again, very, very pretty. This looks very similar to Candlelight from Cover Effects. I'm not really sure. This looks maybe a little bit more dark thin candlelight, but that would be so pretty on darker skin tones. So let's see if we can get a dupe for Celestial. I feel like Lavender Blush is pretty dang close to that, so I think Lavender Blush and Vanilla would be a pretty good concoction for that. So let's go ahead and mix up a little bit of Lavender Blush first and get that as our base. Okay, so there is what Lavender Blush looks like on its own. It's pretty close to Celestial already. Celestial is the lightest in the collection. It looks like it's a little bit more, maybe a little bit more neutral. So I'm gonna mix in either the infallible shade in iced latte that would probably work or vanilla let's let's try just to be different let's try the infallible shade okay so with just that extra product it's a little bit too thick so one drop and i want a little bit more liquidy than that so another drop okay so that in my opinion looks extremely close it's a very similar undertone so yeah there is I think a dupe for Celestial. Okay, so now I'm gonna mix up the Bella Pierre. And I don't think Cover Effects has one that's this light. So you know what? This is gonna come in handy for people that are super, super pale and can't find a liquid highlighter in their shade. I know this is getting very repetitive, but you know what? This is education, people. This is science. That is very, very white, very pale. It's more cool toned. I'm gonna try the NYX pigment. That is beautiful when you mix it with the oil it kind of gets rid of all that sparkle like the chunks of glitter particles and it just makes it really smooth and oh my god put this all over my body i do think this would be a lot easier if you just mix some up and put it in a medicine dropper where you just had it i don't really know how long that would last because it doesn't have preservatives and stuff in it there's what my moonlight dupe looks like so this is my dupe on this side i think i'm gonna go in with a stippling brush because i think i like a brush better it's better for placement and I find that a sponge kind of absorbs too much product. But look at that. Look at it. It's not emphasizing texture or anything. I do find that liquid highlighters in general usually don't. I just find that powders really do. But you really don't want to make too much of this when you do go in to make some. If you're not putting it in some kind of container. Because, I mean, a little bit does go a long way. And you won't need as much as you think you will. So just kind of make a little bit at a time. Okay, so there is our dupes. Let's move on to the cover effects ones. I'm going to go ahead and take off that swatch on my hand so there's no cross contamination. So obviously when you swatch something out it's going to be a lot more intense and 
you know, more heavily concentrated because you're using your finger, you're swatching it, and it's just gonna be a lot more intense than what it is on your face. Because when you put it on your face, it will kind of spread out a little bit and not be as, you know, like boom. Okay, so there is the cover effect. So again, so beautiful, but look over here. Same thing, same effect, same intensity in my opinion. And obviously if you want to be more intense, you could just add some more pigment and like, you know, kind of vamp this up a little bit, but I think it looks pretty much identical. Let's do a check-in at the very end of the night. Right now it is four o'clock. Okay, so I figured it would probably be a good idea to come back and show you guys what my finished face looks like. And I did something wrong. I kind of messed up. But I saw this little thingy majigger in my collection. I was like, wait a minute. I thought I poured all that into the separate container because I thought something happened with the packaging. And I opened it up and there's nothing wrong with it. I don't know what this is that I used. This looks so familiar and I cannot put my finger on what this is in this little like extra container that I thought was the JCAT Beauty Vanilla pigment. It's not. Here's vanilla. Vanilla is not the same tone as whatever I was using on this side previously. This is more of like a yellow based, beigey vanilla color basically. So here's what vanilla actually looks like. So again, this is this is my favorite one of the JCAT Beauty pigments. Like I feel like if I mix this with lavender blush, it would still get a very similar shade to the Cover FX Moonlight. I'm gonna rack my brain trying to figure out what's in this because it's so beautiful and it made such a perfect dupe for Moonlight. Oh my God, I just figured out what that pigment was. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Okay, this was actually a Luxie Beauty highlighter that I, I didn't really like as a powder. This is in the shade La Belle. You can't see it, but yeah, it's a little more chunky, so it's not as finely milled as the LA, LA Girl. Uh, JCAT Beauty pigments, these are only like seven or eight dollars on their website. I don't really like them on their own as powder, so if you went to get something like this, just for the purpose of mixing it up to make it a liquid highlighter. That would probably be a good option. Hey guys, I'm back with my final check-in of the night. It is now 1019, so we're gonna round up to 1030. I don't have my phone on me to show you guys, so you'll just have to take my word on it. But here's what the DIY dupe side looks like. As you can see, it's held up very, very well. It's still pretty reflective, still pretty, you know, high shine. Here's what the cover effects looks like. So again, it's got a really pretty sheen still. It's very like reflective and mirror-like. So as you can probably tell, both of these held up very, very well. I feel like the wear time is pretty much the same, but I gotta say, I am happily surprised with how well the DIY recipes held up and I mean, I think it's a dupe. But that is it for this video. I hope you guys found it helpful. I'm all about saving money and you know finding DIY recipes and dupes and all that stuff here on my channel. So if you're new to my channel, then stick around because there's plenty more where this came from. Thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me today. Thumbs up if you like this video and if you wanna see more like it. Subscribe, follow me on all my social media. All the links are below, as well as all the pigments that I talked about today. And I hope you guys have a beautiful day. Mm -hmm. <laughs>